Hi folks, I'm on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've got another run for you guys. This is the Bliss Pop, latest Bliss Pop running Android 5.1.1. Now, it is actually available for a lot of other devices. Just Google it if you don't see it for your device. Uh, for the Galaxy S5 I'm testing here, it's nearly flawless. It's like, uh, like 10 times better than CM12.1. So I really, really love it. Um, first of all, the UI is like super fast, as you can see here. And the, everything just zips through. Um, you know, you can tell a little bit faster than CM12.1. There's no overclocking, but uh, even without overclocking, you'll score, I think last time I scored about 47,500 on Antutu. So, you know, 40, oh, almost 48,000. Um, so, yeah, it's a very fast ROM. Apart from benchmarks, everything runs fast. Um, games run great. Netflix works. Uh, also, let me go ahead and show you all this stuff. Uh, also, it does come with Super SU, so you won't have to worry about rooting and uh, whatnot. And the coolest features uh, is that you get all of the features from CM 12.1. Uh, audio effects, themes, all that good stuff. Uh, and uh, you get this dark bliss, which is really cool, makes everything dark. Especially on AMOLED devices with Galaxy phones, you'll save a ton of battery life if you do this. Also, um, this is really cool. Based on uh, light conditions, it will actually change from dark to light and stuff. Um, so that's kind of cool. I suggest leaving that on. Also makes it easy to see the settings UI. All right, I'm going into bliss interface. This is where you can go ahead and customize uh, everything on your Galaxy S5. Uh, let's actually go through some of these one by one. Um, I know I went through this a bunch of times, but uh, if you're new to custom ROMs like this, um, you'll want to play with all these settings. Network traffic, if you want to see it, so you can go ahead and enable that. Um, that will show you the number of kilobytes, megabytes going in and out. Uh, brightness control, don't forget that. That's actually feature, eh, it's not working for some reason. There we go, it's working. Um, let's go into navigation options, uh, buttons, navbar options. Of course, you can disable your backlight. That'll save you some battery life. Also, you can enable the navigation bar. Now, the only thing with this one is that you can't disable the hardware buttons like CM12.1. So, I would just suggest just using the hardware buttons for this. Um, but you do have Pi controls to make up for it. Um, you can go ahead and enable Pi controls. And you can change the trigger options. Um, this will allow you to uh, have a bunch of more shortcuts. So that's really nice. And this one's native Pi control, so it's better uh, than the one on the Play Store. Also, no, no advertising. All right, recent options. Uh, you can change the clear all recent buttons, bottom right, top left, all that good stuff. So these are all really just standard AOSP stuff. Um, one thing that's good with this ROM uh, over CM12.1 is that uh, you can control also the heads up. Uh, you can go go ahead and uh, add application. You don't want to get notifications uh, in your heads up. And also, um, timeout. You can set the timeout so it's not annoying. It's not up there all the time. Set it to two seconds if you want. Uh, also, some touch outside behavior. All right, lock screen options. A ton of lock screen options. Um, power menu. You can go ahead and enable screen recording, screenshot. One click reboot, wow. A ton of options for power menu. Gesture anywhere, these are gesture shortcuts. Display animations, you can customize your all of your custom animations. App circle bar, app bar. Um, so a ton of great customizations, along with, you know, most importantly, the speed on this beast uh, is absolutely amazing, um, you know, apart from that. And also camera works um, just fine. You'll get uh, 4K recording. There is no slow-mo uh, with AOSP in general. You can also download Google Camera uh, to make it better, but you'll get full 4K. Um, no 1080p for the front uh, for the Galaxy S5. Um, also, with uh, for those of you who don't know who have not been uh, staying up to date with AOSP ROMs, AOSP ROMs now support full uh, XFAT support uh, beyond 32 gigabytes. So before you had this problem of not working, but now you can use your 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, all that good stuff. Battery life is also excellent on this. Um, other than that, you get all the cool Android 5.1.1 uh, features. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. I love this ROM. 
Um, also, again, also available for many other variants. For Galaxy S5, it is available for uh, the international version, the Canadian, the T-Mobile version I got here, and the Sprint version. For Verizon or AT&T, um, sadly, your bootloader is locked, so you can't have any cool ROMs like this. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM week. Uh, the IR Blaster is also works. Just go ahead and download uh, the Smart Remote Control or the Peel uh, Control app from the Play Store and you should be able to uh, make it work. USB ROMs in general have come a long way. Um, you know, this is awesome, especially with the Galaxy S5. This is one of the better supported devices. Also get a ton of great battery life. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM week and do let me know what you think. Um, if you have another phone, just Google it to go to XDA. There should be a bliss pop for uh, your ROM. And that's about it, guys. I have more stuff coming. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. And as always, I'll stay on Android.